Hey guys, an unboxing today. Oh boy. <laughs> of a watch from Casio. Uh, thanks Amazon for this packaging. Hold on a second. This watch is super affordable, super good looking, and from a brand with great heritage. So in honor, I'm wearing a similar watch. My Timex MK1, the MacGyver watch. There's a review video I did not too long ago of this little $30 stunner. And this, I think, should be no different. So this is the Casio model number. MTD120D8AVCF. You know how Casio loves to have really catchy model numbers. I'm calling this a gorgeous watch with a dark secret. And we'll see what that secret is in a second if we can actually get it out of this box. You think I'd be used to these boxes by now? I have my little parade of Casios on my desk over there but why not add one more to the collection? So I saw this on Amazon and there's a sale on this one right now. So there's a link in the description, 25% off right now on Amazon. So this is coming in at $29. And for what I think you get, that is gonna be a great value proposition. So first impressions, look at this guy. So there's a kind of a black gray sunburst dial Stainless steel, look at that bezel. Let's get some stickers off so we can really appreciate it. Oh, they gave us some extra foam so it fits on Casio's stand a little bit better. Uh, real quick, it gives you a little bit of information. Three hand analog, day date, mineral crystal, 50 meters of water resistance. Thank you for that. Stickers on here. So here we are, the Casio Diver. Well, it looks like a diver. There's a few reasons why it's not. One of them is the dark secret that I alluded to earlier. But first, let's get some specifications on the board. This is not, oh, well, I'm including the crown, that's why. <laughs> A 43 millimeter diameter, let me confirm that on the other side. Yeah, just about 43. Thickness is at 10, well, let's call it 11, so pretty good thickness. Lug to lug. Coming in just about 50, and lug width I believe is 20. Can we figure that out with the links in? Ooh, looking in fact like a 22 millimeter lug width. So not the smallest watch in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but a very good looking watch. So let's take a closer look, shall we? This watch is just full of details and for $29, it's almost an unbelievable amount. So let's start to check them off as we go over all the features, applied indices all around. These are all loomed as well. And the applied indices have like a high polish frame around each one. There's a double marker up there at the 12 and then single markers for the rest of the hours. The Casio logo printed there above the, sorry, below the 12 and water resist 50 meters above the six. There's a minute track running around the outer edge of the dial. And speaking of the outer edge of the dial, there's a really cool texture and a multicolored feature up here in the top right corner. So from the 12 to the three, there's this yellow stripe along the outside of the dial. And then it goes back to that kind of gunmetal gray around the rest of the dial and it's textured. There's these concentric circles, almost like a radial brushing that gives a really cool detailed effect. The dial itself, which seems to be a little dusty at the moment, is a very, very vibrant sunburst. It's another kind of dark gray gunmetal color that reminds me a lot of the Seiko SNX-S79 with that kind of color, really catches the light 
quite well. The hands are high polish on the back ends. That looks kind of black as well. That's just the reflections. So all the metal on the hour hand, minute hand, and second hand are high polish. But then the sword hands, the kind of oversized sword slash picket fence style hands are white, but then filled with loom. And they're really cool little yellow accent on the second hand ticking around. Speaking of that second hand, how does it line up? Medium. Not too bad, but it's not perfect. Also, the chapter ring seems to be high polish, so it is picking up the reflections of the applied indices, which also is a really cool detail. It almost has distortion. I mean, you can see it all around here. Instead of distortion from the mineral crystal, which is dead flat, it's getting distortion from the chapter ring. So it almost is making up for the lack of dome by giving it distortion from the mirrored high polish chapter ring. A really cool idea that I really haven't seen before. Framed day date window there at the three. So you pull out the crown one click. There's crown guards, but no screw down crown. And you, whoa, you switch the day like, like you normally would, but I've never seen, holy cow, a quicker day change. Look at how I'm hardly moving the crown and it is going. All right, so that's one way. The other way, of course, you set the date. That's a little bit more on the regular side, then pull it out to the second position, change the time. Speaking of the crown, push pull as mentioned, high polish, unsigned crown. The case and the bracelet, all stainless steel. Very reflective, although it's not all high polish. You can see the brushing here on the lugs. You can see the lines, so another kind of radial brushing. You can also feel the texture of that brushing, so maybe not refined, but I do like the look of it. And then high polish throughout the rest of the case. Nice case shape, although it is 50 millimeters lug to lug, it does curve, so it should hug your wrist pretty well, especially since it's only 11 millimeters thick. So what is the problem with this watch? I'll get to it in a second, because first we have to look at this bracelet. Again, a mixture of brushing on the outside and high polish center links. They are folded, hollow. They're the kind of strange ones that you have to push out. Oops, that they're not pins. They're those kind of other, I don't even know what to call it, but it's the, the least of my favorite bracelet adjustment systems down to a signed clasp. Unfortunately, only one point or one extra point of micro adjust. Of course, it is a pressed clasp. And on the back, Casio, Japan movement, cased in China, stainless steel, battery, etc. So you might have been able to, by process of elimination, figure out what the one drawback of this watch is, what I'm calling its dark secret. And it's this, not only is it a dive watch with only 50 meters of water resistance, but this dive style bezel does not rotate. It's fixed. Yes, there's little textured indentations all around the bezel to make it look like it wants to give you some grip to turn it, but no matter how hard you try to move it, this bezel is fixed, which is a big downside. And for me, it's almost a deal breaker because if this did rotate, for $29, I would be ready to call this Casio's best watch ever, even better than the Duro, which I have right over here. The Duro, beautifully designed as well, but there's, to me, I think there's just some more attention to detail on this new Casio on the left from the applied indices that really are applied instead of stamped. The sunburst with the kind of texture is a little bit different than this inky blue dial. A gorgeous watch. I do not want to uh, be negative about the Duro, but just side by side, I feel like there's some more conscious design cues on the Casio on the left. However, this bezel does not rotate. If this watch had this bezel, it'd be over. But still, for $29, of course I'm going to complain about that, but that really does seem to be the only thing to complain about. 
Did we talk about the framed date window? I think we did. I just really like the colorway of this watch. Usually I stay away from pops of accent color, like the bright yellows, bright oranges, but I think this yellow works really well, not only with the colors of this watch, the gray blacks, but just the little pop it needs to add a little bit of extra interest. If this was only black and gray and white, I probably would not be as attracted to it as I am. It's just such a clean design, such a good design, such a legible design. There is no way you can't tell what time it is when you look down at this watch. And again, there's a sale on Amazon right now. So there's a link in the description of this video, $29 for this thing. And other than that rotating bezel, I'm struggling to find a fault for $29. If this was 200 meters of water resistance and a rotating bezel, this would be well over $100, in my opinion, even with this folded link bracelet. So I did pause for a second and take some links out. So here's what I took out. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist. So we'll put it on. And despite the lack of micro adjustment, I actually happen to get a really great fit, so I can't complain totally. So seven and a quarter inch wrist. So eight inches and above should also have no problem wearing this watch. There it is above the knuckle. Let's move it down. Just such a classy piece, I think. So there you go, the Casio, where is it? MTD 120D 8AVCF. They sure do know how to name them, don't they? 29 bucks. Link in the video description. Full review coming soon. New videos every week on this channel, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.